If you're an Angelino, a foodie, into pop culture, and you haven't been living under a rock for the last decade, then you're definitely familiar with Roy Choi. Founder of the Koji Korean taco truck, A-Frame, Sunny Spot, and Pot at the Line Hotel, the restaurateur known as Papi Chulo is everywhere, except in his mother's culinary venture, Mommy Sauce. Well, how do you say sauce in Korean? Sauce. <laughs> I can assure you this amazing woman has a first name, just don't call her by it. Lovingly known to all as Mommy Choi, this entrepreneur has launched her own line of cooking sauces, and simply put, they are the so your kids grew up with these sauces? Yes. These are in the family? Right. Mommy sauce is the mommy's home cooking sauce. You got spicy kimchi, mm -hmm. fishy, bulgogi. <laughs> I really want to talk about the magic sauce. Magic sauce. Huh? It's not only for the Korean food. You can make it all around the food. American food, French food, Italian. <laughs> if you order the, some dishes on the restaurant, it's not taste good to you. <laughs> Sprinkle the magic. Okay. So so, Mama Choi, what is in the magic sauce? When you try the, my dishes, then you know what is the magic sauce. I gotta is. taste the magic, right, don't I? Right, right. And helping us in the kitchen is another Choi, Mommy's daughter and Roy's sister, Julie. Julie, are you a whiz in the kitchen? No, I'm not. You're not? <laughs> Me either, girlfriend, so I'm with you. <laughs> Mommy Choi is gonna have to show us how it's done. And with that, let the cooking commence. Chicken with sauteed veggies. And you know what? I stir fry the chicken with the magic sauce. And so you're putting it on chicken and vegetables, but then is there other dishes the that you stew, throw? Stew, stew. And then stir fry the, in the pork chop or ste even steak, of course. Developed over the course of her adult life while cooking and caring for her family, mommy sauces are deep rooted in the Korean flavors that she herself grew up with. When did you come to America, Mommy Choi? 1967. 1967. Yeah. I met my husband, Daddy Choi, in, in, in here. Daddy yeah. Choi? Yes, so we call him like that. <laughs> Daddy <laughs> Choi likes your sauce, yes. right? That's of course, I mean, no choice. He has only one wife. <laughs> yeah. So he's got to like his yeah. sauce, huh? And while the chicken simmers, we're on to the chop check. How am I doing here, Mommy Choi? Okay. <laughs> See, you're just, you're like the OG gangster with the uh, chopsticks oh, there. Yeah, even I can catch the fly with the fly with my chopsticks. <laughs> you like Miyagi, Mommy Choi. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it's a no fly around here. <laughs> you know, try for the speed. Thanks for the fork, Mommy Choi. No chopsticks? <laughs> my skills aren't as good as you. Mmm, yum! <laughs> In Korean culture, eating is not a solitary experience. So gather up your friends and family, because it's about to go down. And because she's one of 11 children, four of whom live in LA, we're eating family style with four of mommy's sisters. And of course, Daddy Choi. Yeah, there's just so much of it, and mommy makes a ton of it all the time, and so we always get together and eat mommy's food. <laughs> How proud are you of your mommy? I'm so proud of her. She works so hard. And I just, Thank you, Julia. She's just constantly creating, constantly thinking of ways to provide for her family and just do something for herself. She's been working hard our whole lives yeah. just to make a life for us out here. Well, I have to say, I've only spent an afternoon with you guys, and you're just absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Here's to family, here's to mommy. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Can I take it to go box? <laughs> <laughs>